I'm going to start with the Mustard C53 Curved Nymph. This is a uh, a damsel nymph, a, a very good still water lake pattern that has worked really well. We'll just put the tying thread on. We want to go a little bit down the bend of the hook to about there. Okay, let's get rid of that. And what we need is a little bunch of olive marabou. That will do us there. Just trim that off, tie that in. Got a nice long tail on this because it's uh, it's much better when it swims. Gives a lot more movement to the uh, to the fly. Okay, that's just done there. Then what we need is I can get hold of it. A piece of copper wire for the rib. Put that in. Now we need to turn this upside down. This is a pattern that's going to fish upside down. Now what I use is, there's various nymph bodies and things, but what I use is I cut the finder materials bag uh, that's quite thick and I cut just a strip off the top like that. And I want to tie this in on top of the hook shank. Just Tack that in. Probably the easiest way to do it. Like that. And then we go want this to be central of course. And up here with it and this has to be tied in at the base of the tail like so and we can go just tack that in and go up again now I need a dubbing loop there but first I'll just put some wax on this a bit of tacky wax and we need some dubbing this is just a, an olive antrum dubbing. We don't need loads of this, but what we do need is enough to make a, a tapering dubbing rope to do the abdomen. But I want this to be a really tight dubbing rope, so I'll just put that on there and then I'll double that over so I can spin it all together. I'll go forward to about there. Take the dubbing spinner onto the dubbing rope and get that spun up nice and thick and sorry nice and tight all the way with that taper that we spoke about. I'll just wrap this on now. I just want to do the abdomen like this. Okay, that will do us there. Just tie that off. Remove your dubbing spinner. Then we pull this over the back, maybe you see better like that, and I'll just tack that down to hold it in position there. Now take our rib, I want to rib the body, the abdomen, like so, and then we can go To there, tie off the copper wire, 
get rid of that. Then we fold our plastic strip over again. And we tie this down. So we're there so far. Now what we need is we need to go forward and then we take some plastic nymphies and these damsel eyes and we tie these in position but make sure that you have a little space be between the eyes and the uh, hook eye because we need that space to finish the fly there we go so we'll just keep our thread there for a short while then we need a piece of lead wire on here you can use weighted eyes if you want but it won't make it fish upside down and this is a upside down pattern so I can fish it deep and slow so it doesn't catch on anything like so good could put a drop of super glue on these eyes and on the lead for that matter just to hold things in position there we go don't need any more than that and then we just go over the lead wire with a few wraps if you want the super glue to dry quickly blow on it okay now we'll go back into here so what we need now is a partridge hackle if you've seen any of my other videos for legs before you'll have seen this so I'll just cut that off there I need to tie this on just in there like that pull that over and tie it down Good. Then we need a bit more dubbing. Just put a bit more wax on there. This is for the thorax, but it's the same. It's the same dubbing, just an olivantron. Put this on like so. We'll fold that over again. make a dubbing loop but I don't want to spin this one as tight as the last one this wants to be a bit scruffy and longer in fibers so I'll just give this a little there we go perfect so what we want to do now is we want to have a couple of turns just behind the partridge hackle. We're into it now. A couple of turns there and then we go in front of the partridge hackle and wind the thorax forward. Like so the dubbing loop forward, tie it off behind the hook eye to remove the dubbing loop now. Now we take the partridge hackle, bend that over or fold it over right in the middle, put the legs out as they are supposed to be. Can brush those out in a second just to cut the turns back there forward there good and then I can remove that take my dubbing needle 
I can pull these out. The dubbing will hold these in position afterwards once we pull the plastic over. You can see they're hanging on the dubbing. There we go. So we take that little plastic piece again and we pull this over to form the wing case. Give it one turn and this is in front of the eyes. Tighten up and we fold it back and go behind the eyes. And I can tighten that up. Now, before you cut this or when you're cutting it, you stretch it and then cut like so. Okay, that should do us. So we just need to give it a whip finish. Like so. Remove that. And that's it. That's the finished upside down damsel. It's a real catcher, so give it a go.